Hey, I did a thing. Oh, hey you. So I'm here in the airport and about to fly out to Vegas. A little scared, a little nervous. Tension to turn, though. Look at that. People that are here. I hope you're doing well. I feel like a, uh, a little boy in a tribe about to be sent out into the wild for some kind of rite of passing. There you go. There we go. One way ticket to Vegas. Can you see out the window? It's a terrible camera. Window, but... See you in the better. Just landed and welcome to Vegas. So we moved to Vegas, right? We get here and I can't find my way around the airport to save my life. Then I was in the middle of filming and I realized I have no idea where I'm at. So I've got to find baggage claim now. <laughs> uh, I finally find where I'm supposed to go by reading a sign. Oh, bless you, sweet sign of salvation. And I, I make it onto the tram, I find my way through the parking garages, and then I'm home. And lo and behold, no moving van is there. Whee! <laughs> it turns out okay, because they end up delivering all the stuff from the moving van a week late. Everything was fine. Not a big deal, honestly. Everything turned out great. I had some clothes, still have a few things I need to unpack. That's okay, it's part of moving in. Been working a lot since I got here. Um, let's see. The wife, that wonderful lady, she landed uh, later that night. And I had just picked up a car for us. Hey, what's up, front door? I left the light on. <laughs> so, it's the end of the day here in Las Vegas. So anyway, she shows up and we're grocery shopping. So I just left Costco and it was, it was stressful. And I'm having an argument with Maya Gina my wife for all you English speakers and I come outside because none of our stuff was here yet right <laughs> so we're, we're like picking up pieces that we know we already have we still kind of need we we bicker a little bit but by the time I leave Costco I realize wait a second I just moved to Vegas and it's a clear night looking up at the palm trees there's there's very little wind and no wind I can feel it's 90 degrees and I realize all the little silly shit that we're stressing about right now, it doesn't mean anything. It's just because we've had a stressful day. And this is, this is legit now. This is where I work, this is where I live. Vegas. Okay, here we go. And I, I start feeling super grateful. There's this hotel off in the distance. That's like the best hotel I ever stayed in. And the next day, everything was as if there was no stress at all. We just. We talked it out a little bit. Everything was fine. Hello. Hey! <laughs> so it's the next day, and we had a lot of time to talk and work through stuff and... Plan. Plan? Oh my gosh. So we know where we're going and whatnot, and you can hold that. So I'll be a safe driver here in our apartment complex. Mm. But see, everything's fine between us. Don't sweat the small stuff. Love yeah. each other. It's not worth it. Mm. Love you, sweetie. Yeah. And then, suddenly, the house was just kind of empty. Oh, the apartment. There's no one home. Where is the peoples? Where is my wife? Hmm. And I've been here working while the missus is still back in California finishing up a, uh, a summer school program. So these three weeks have been bonkers. I wake up, go to work, come home, pass out. And the whole time we're apart 
man, it's not fun. Not so fun. We miss each other. We miss each other. And she'll be coming home here in less than seven days. She'll help me move in. She'll come home. She'll see the stack of books, stack of books, stack of boxes, and hopefully not get too angry. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. We get to make this place our home together. It'll be great. I can't wait till she gets here. And if I may.